cool. Misty Drum, I'm just going to show you how you can use the excellent Flame Painter 3 Pro to create interesting mist effects or smoky effects using you can use in Photoshop or any other application as well. Okay, so first thing to do, I'm just going to go to File and New, and quite often the default is 800 by 600. Now you might not want that, you might want to uh, maybe bigger than that. I'm just going to go for 1400 and I'm going to set the save boundary to, I don't want it that much, click OK. Now I've got that design there. The key thing here is to avoid the edges. If you're going to create a brush, you want to avoid the edges. So, because otherwise you end up with this sort of like sharp line in the thing. Now I'm going to use flame as a starting point. And just going to click that. So you, you've got some brushes here, brush tool there. Now this obviously isn't so effective as a mist. Now you could, of course, just turn it into a white design later, black and white. But I'm just going to undo that. I'm just going to go for white in the first place and just select white there. Now you can modify various settings here. I actually quite like a bit of noise there. And you can modify the opacity. I prefer the opacity to be a lot lower than that and also normal don't like lighten right so what i've got i've got this brush stroke so i'm just going to create a brush in the center and let's say make a very large document to start with and then oh i kept it on there for a long time while i was talking so you've got that design there obviously you can make thousands of different designs using this application really quite good for that and right now what I can do, let's say I've avoided anywhere near the seams and just go for some blur. And you can of course apply different blurs, there's glow as well as oh, don't want that much. Let's go down to about there. And then just apply it again and you just apply it on top. You could use layers as well as another option as well. And of course you can always undo and just apply them again. Change your opacity, change some of the settings over there. But there's a general sort of misty effect that's uh, been created using that default flame. Now, what you want to do then is I'm going to merge the layers. So it's all into one layer. And I'm going to save it. And the key thing here now is file save as. And avoid the FPA format. FPA format is only for flame painter 3 pro so it's best to save it to something like png or psd etc so png save as now once that's been saved now what you can do you can now go to of course you can continue maybe make three four five six and you know sometimes that's actually better you should actually add another brush stroke here so just do that and then just go to file and save as and again avoid the FPA always defaults to that so PNG and maybe make a flame painter artwork one PNG again right. now just going to go over to Photoshop once you're in Photoshop you of course can now import that into Photoshop file open and you just select that And there you've got the file. Now, at this point, it's obviously not going to be much good as a brush because you actually haven't got, you've actually got this edge. If you actually save that and define that as a brush, it would look terrible because you'd have this very strong edge, black edge around it. What you want to do is just go to image and adjustments and invert. And then you've got this design there. At this point, you can, of course, just go to edit and define brush preset. Just save it as a brush. Right, well, I want to work a little bit more with it than that. You can always use good old layer and duplicate layer. And once you duplicated that, you can then even resize it. So you don't actually have to go with the same size. You can then use normal, darken, and multiply. So you can multiply is probably the best one. You can actually add multiple layers, which you can drag down there. And you can create very complex brushes using that apply effects as well so filter maybe blur gaussian blur just to blur it just slightly then flatten and also you can actually use different 
tool such as the blur tool there and just say maybe blur parts of that image just by doing that or maybe dodge or burn tool just to add some more different unusual character to the brush stroke so you can define that edit define brush preset also of course well, I've created that other file which I just created earlier you can use place embedded and you can just add that one and unfortunately because that's problem now at that point you've got it black and white what I want to do is I'm just going to quickly go file open and select it like that and now invert it because you want it as a so invert that so and now select it oh it's the same size as before so what you can do just bring that in paste that in on top of the other one and then use again various blending modes such as there in the layers again if you can't see the layers it's just window layers there so you can then again move that around duplicate that or at the end of the day just flatten and define brush preset save ok and you've got the brush stroke just going to go now to a new document select that and i've got a selection of brushes i've just created just there and you've got the so you don't want to apply it in white but I'm just going to say edit and fill just going to apply it in black and i will apply it in white so you can actually see the misty and also you can actually resize it of course you don't have to go with that sort of size you can actually make it much more misty and again apply effects as well so you can actually blur that and maybe select one of the other brush strokes that i've just created as well again add that into the mix as well as modifying the size you don't have to they work quite nicely at large size as well so just select that it's create a very misty scene in a few minutes hope you found this of interest thank you much